Hi, Flosstube. Uh, happy Saturday. Uh, I'm Chrissy. This is my Flosstube channel. I am finally a farm girl as well as on Instagram. Uh, so happy Saturday and thank you all for the um, subscribes and the likes and the shares and especially for the wonderful comments on all my episodes, but um, you really, really were so kind on my most recent home tour that I did. Uh, if you're new, we've uh, recently moved from a seven acre farm uh, to a gated community and uh, only uh, 20 minutes away. But anyways, you can go back into earlier episodes and catch up, but we've been here about six weeks and I had promised y'all a home tour. So even though there's some things I still have in the garage and still need to unpack, um, for the most part, we're feeling incredibly, uh, incredibly settled and that feels, um, that feels really, really good. This is, I believe this is floss tube number 12. Uh, I only put the house tour down as a special edition, so I didn't count it. Um, anyways, it did have lots of, of stitchy information and some family uh, heirlooms that I got to share. So um, it was fun. It was fun. And I'm so glad that uh, it's done. And I think the next one is I will do uh, a Christmas home tour. I think uh, those are my favorite. I really enjoy those myself uh, on YouTube. Um, so, okay, so it's, so it feels like it's been longer because we did, I did the home tour and I did not share progress. Part of the reason I did the home tour too was because I really have been primarily working on the Lincoln sampler. Um, that's my model stitch, one of them for Twin Peak Primitives. And it really got to the point where I needed to, um, I guess you could say up my game and we, it's going to be part of the uh, Needlework Expo in August. So I kind of tend to do this where I will rotate whips, enjoy, and then ultimately get to the point where uh, it's time to make that my only uh, stitch, monogamous stitch, and get it done. Uh, it's, it's one of those things that I think feels really good because all of a sudden you're just focusing on one, you can see the finish coming, you give it your all, and when that one is off to the framer, um, you're really ready to start something new. And in, in this situation, I will turn around and work on the Halloween one that I've shared with you um, because it kind of got put to the back burner and that is a smaller piece, so I will stitch that until I have a finish. And that is also another expo release. So we have some exciting things coming ahead uh, because we this is the second expo and um, it was so fun to watch, even just from, from the background uh, part of it. And uh, anyways, so I have, because of the time frame, um, I have more haul than I do um, any whips to share. So I'm gonna go through a little bit of what I watched on Floss Tube this week. And let's see, the first one would be, um, I wanted to say congrats to Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. Um, I know it's probably old news by now, but I still want to say that uh, congratulations on your engagement. Um, how cute it is. Um, she had such a hard time containing her excitement and rightfully so. Um, it's a huge, huge, you know, stepping stone in your life and now you get to sit back and enjoy it. So Elizabeth Ann, congratulations. Um, it was really cute to watch how thrilled um, you were and the ring. <laughs> uh, it was really cute. Um, it's good to see uh, love and things like that. Uh, and then on the opposite, I won't spend a, a lot of time by any means, um, but on the opposite scale of, of you know, joy, we had great deal of sadness in the stitching community over um, Barb of Blackbird Designs. Um, she was a legend and I did not ever get to meet her. However, um, you should check out Saltbox Stitcher if you have not, uh, because she put out um, an honorary floss tube just for all her blackbirds and uh, some photos of, of Barb 
and um, you know I think they're better to tell they're better to tell this story than I am I love blackbirds but I don't have that personal uh, experience that that they do from different retreats so by all means go check out um, go check out Saltbox Stitcher Carol and uh, and and just watch that because I think it just you know this this was somebody that um, this was a huge loss to the community so anyways uh, that was on the opposite end of the scale and it was it was definitely sad to hear um, I will say this this goes back to StitchCon and I wanted to share I have never been to StitchCon and I've really never been to a retreat but I did want to share and give a shout out to hello to Liz Matthews uh, she did a stitch con review that was incredibly from a not from a designer's aspect but she just did it straight from going to stitch con and what to expect and what she experienced and what she would recommend and it was a little bit of a long video so maybe save it for when you're ready to sit down and um, grab something to drink but it was well worth it to watch and I really um, appreciated that she went into such detail as to the how it all goes down and I mean obviously this is um, you know something that is a lot of work to put together so I think it's important that that we know exactly you know not what you're getting into but what you're ready to experience and um, she did exactly that and it was I really am so thankful that she did that in case um, next year I can make it up to StitchCon I will be better prepared for something like that I watched Stituation Normal, and I also watched, of course, Brenda and Laura. Um, you know, I don't know if you've ever watched, uh, obviously, everybody watches Brenda and Laura. If you don't, you should. But my favorite that I can always go back to are um, her and her daughter actually did a tour of Brenda's um, Stitchy Retreat, which is downstairs. And if you have not seen that, if perchance that was something that you didn't catch, it was around Christmas time. Um, that's another, just a fun, fun, um, you know, tour to go and watch and be inspired. Um, and that is what got me to where I wanted drums and strawberries and tomatoes and all that. So anyways, that's kind of what um, I, I did in the ways of floss tube. I will say I did all I really focused on stitching. I didn't let myself get tied into um, a whole lot of floss tubes. Um, otherwise, I would have watched more than I did stitch. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. I would say we should move on to... <laughs> um, I have one funny story, and maybe this is a good time to share it. Um, okay, so... When, when, since I was talking anyways about Brenda uh, and um, she has the cuckoo clock. So when you watch Brenda and Laura, you will see Brenda's cuckoo clock and it seems to do the cuckoo part exactly when it needs to, exactly when Laura and her go back and forth and it just seems to have the perfect timing. And when my mom and I would watch it um, together, it, it was, we always laughed, everybody probably does, but my mom would talk about how when we went to Germany, she, they had got a cuckoo clock and we had it in our dining room. And years ago, they had, we, they moved from Michigan to Florida and no longer kept it. And she kept saying how she would want to get another one again. And uh, like I've shared with others, sometimes I still think about the things that my mom wanted, wanted to do, her dreams are my dreams. Um, and I, I find myself still wanting to make that happen for her. So, quick version is I saw the cutest cuckoo clock that I was going to get and just give it to my dad on Instagram commercial or little ad. And then it came across on the Facebook ad and I jumped. I jumped and I went for it and I thought it was so cute. And they had the little people come out and were dancing. It was perfect. I bought it very quickly. It was on sale, it was half off, I jumped. And then I was scrolling Facebook and if you know how they, they kind of tend to make your ads um, exactly what you're looking for, 
all of a sudden I saw it and I saw that people had put down that it was, um, it was a joke, it was fraud, it, was, it wasn't at all what you did not get what you ordered. So my husband said, don't worry about it because I was kind of upset. Um, you know, I didn't spend a lot, but I didn't spend a little either. He's like, don't worry about it. It's, it's no big deal. Whatever comes, comes. So, okay, weeks went by, weeks and weeks and weeks. Kind of forgot about it. But when it did show up, it isn't at all what I thought. So I thought I would share you, these are the risks of just emotionally buying or buying too quickly without looking into it. So I have it laying here. I, I, I am keeping it right next to my stitch area, but this is what I got. Is that cute or what? But, let's see if I get close. Okay, so these people up here were supposed to come out and dance. All of these were shown as like the regular wood figures. I mean, this is like a watch face. So, you know, it's a good lesson. Even at, I think that's the thing that kids should learn is that we don't stop learning, adults. We don't stop learning, but it's cute, right? Lesson learned. It's about, it's about this big. It's like the size of my hand. There you go. This is my hand. So it hangs in my stitchy area. Just as a silly reminder um, <laughs> to be very careful what you buy off of Instagram. As far as the ads and the companies and things like that, you know, I, I learned a good lesson. Okay. So if we move into other hall, um, I went to, since we moved, we have a Joann's up here that is much bigger than the one we had over by the farm and I can get Philip in there better. And we went walking around and I came across these, these hoops that I know I've seen other people talk about and they were on sale for, they were, they were 70 off of the tag. So I believe this was three, I think I paid like a dollar for each of these, but I thought they would be kind of cute. Everybody says, cause they're rubbery and everybody seems to say they get a really good hold on them. So, and then they come already ready to hang. So I was kind of thinking, I got a couple, three round, couple of oval, just for ornaments, a quick finish, a gift. Um, and you're, you're talking, like I said, like a dollar fifty. So some of the haul I got, it was not expensive. Um, they just, to me, are going to be great to put away for ornaments or anything like that. So anyways, I don't know that you have a Joann's near you or if they still have some, but they, they're, I'm going to give them a try, um, and see how they work out. The other thing that Philip, he actually found these that were so sweet and I'll open them up. Excuse me. Let's see if I can do it. There is these, they are called a stitch in time. They were in the button section. And this particular one for the theme of stitch in time comes with a little featherweight. Little scissors. And there you go. And if you don't like the gold, you can spray paint them. A little wooden thread spool. Three different color little spools. It's like a mauve, or actually four, sorry. And so anyways, not that you could, but maybe you can see them like that. I thought really cute for finishing. That was one, I'm not gonna open the rest, but there's this one called For the Love of Quilting. Maybe you can see it good enough. So sometimes they cross over and this one has your just little hearts, buttons, thimbles. On the back, I can tell there's uh, there's more thread, but different, a different kind. So I thought those were really cute. Um, this one is called So Cute Spools and Scissors. So now you've got different scissors, different. You've got more wooden spools. I thought that was really, I thought they were really sweet. So again, those were Joann's and um, let me move those aside. 
so I don't lose those little guys. I thought those were really sweet and fun to just put in your little button stash just for even an ornament or something like that. All right, the next thing I got was I saw um, Roveris on Instagram had put out new scissor fobs. And I have more scissors than I have fobs, so. Isn't that sweet? A little tomato pin cushion. So that's from Roveris. She ships really, really fast, even though it's coming from, I believe, Italy. But either way, it comes really, really fast. But it's really cute. And her stuff is really well made. So I've been saving that for you guys to see. And I can't wait to put it on there. Okay, um, let's see. Last week was Heather's birthday. Uh, so she has, she knows about this particular thing, so I can share it with you. Um, she has other things that I put together for her birthday, but I did know she wanted to be part of this. This is with Witchy Stitcher. Uh, I also believe Handmade by Michelle McGraw, or Made by Michelle McGraw, sorry, Michelle. She uh, does quite a bit of Witchy Stitcher too, so um, I went ahead and for Heather's birthday, paid for her to be part of the Cryptid Stitch Along. And so I, I guess I should cover that's That's her code, her password. And I believe in August, the framework comes out. I also believe, um, no, I know for a fact, um, Fox and Rabbit uh, joined this as well. Uh, so it sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. And the, the I think the housework or the framework uh, it comes out in August, and then the first pattern comes out in September. So it gives her some time to get the um, the linen going. But right now, this is all there was for me to print out for her, just to give it to her for her birthday. And then I found these Etsy haunted house tags for her, in case she just wants. Because I think most of it's going to have a lot of black, so you don't need a lot. Um, but this was this was off Etsy again, and an easy download. Okay, um, all right, then I, a while ago, and I mean several weeks ago, um, mail is not always as fast as it was before, but I had ordered this quite a long time ago from Cricklewood Crossing off of Etsy. I have a few charts that are all just tomatoes. Um, a lot of people have, have gotten into that. Uh, let's see, Christy Crosshatch Quilts, her and I have a few that over time we found that I just want a place to house them. Um, they're not big pieces, but I thought this would be cute. I'll know exactly what's in the bag. Anything um, that's got some little fun stitchy tomatoes, vintage tomatoes, that's where they're going to go. So that is by Crickle Wood Crossing. Got to find my stuff, but okay. While we're on the roll of project bags, well, my husband's kind of funny. I think you all know that sometimes. Uh, and Lisa, Kindred Stitcher, was, she makes beautiful project bags. She's an incredible stitcher, incredible sampler stitcher, and um, she makes project bags. And she tells you, um, gives you some notice, sends some pictures of what the, the fabrics are gonna be. I have watched her do it numerous times and I have really um, never caught one. They go like hotcakes. Uh, I mean, a lot of these, a lot of these project bag, you know, designers or makers, I mean, they, they just go so fast um, and, and so many of them are so good. So I think in the floss tube community, we try to spread the wealth and, you know, we know we have our favorites, but in this situation, I have been wanting to have some of Lisa's bags and I miss out every time and it's no big deal. You just move on. This time though, I've joked enough that my husband was like, hand me the phone, hand me the phone. Um, so he sat there, I was helping do something else and he kept putting every time, every time a new one came out, a couple of times I did me please and it just sometimes that timing is just off and you don't know if you kind of got it. You think you got it, but you're not sure. So then he's like, I'm just gonna say me please on any time it pops up and I'm like, okay, no, you don't wanna do that. I mean, you do wanna do that. I would love you to do that, but you don't wanna do that. But that day we laughed because he kind of just kept going and um, I did walk away with two. So thank you, Lisa. They're gorgeous. Um, they're nice because you can iron them 
And I know that sometimes this is how she, she pays for her stitchy good, her retreats and her fun stuff. But the first one I got is um, this one. And I, I wanted this for samplers. I thought this was really pretty. She's got some buttons on it. There we go. Just super pretty. And the inside is just white, but very classic and clean. That was this one. And then Again, maybe for, we've got a lot of these strawberry sales going and things of that sort. Uh, I picked up this one. And it's just got a real cute little, almost like a calico inside. But, so, I, ha I think I officially have, I'm never going to say enough because they're right. You can never have enough, especially when you start adding to stash, but I'm, I'm doing pretty good now. I think um, I've been adding bags for about a year and I think I'm, I've finally got, um, gotten to the point where I feel like I have, as I rotate and finish, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with, with what I've got. Doesn't mean I don't see others that are special that I want, but um, it feels pretty good. I, I, you know, I'm not looking for Ziploc bags anymore and that's okay too, because I've done that my whole, my whole life. I have many of them still like that, but I think it feels good when you start getting more than one in a theme or just know that that is something that will carry me through for a really long time. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of not picky about what I pick, but I, I do have a thought in mind when I'm doing it. Okay. Patterns. I, um, I ordered this from Brick City Cross Stitch. Philip and I did take a trip up to my local needle shop, uh, and saw Miss Jean, the owner at Brick City. Um, and we had uh, a really good morning. Uh, we met with some of the other ladies there. Philip was there, and um, I had one one piece of mail, which was this is called. Uh, it's from By the Bay Needle Art, and it is Psalm twenty three Quaker style. Now, let's see if I can get that in there for you. I I have I am. Some of the haul you're seeing is I am starting to really think about Christmas. Now it might not be this Christmas that this gets done, but uh, my dad mentioned my dad mentioned about um, maybe about a month ago that it was a really good church service and that they went through uh, they walked through or said Psalm 23. I have always loved that. Uh, there was a time when. Uh, Philip first started having his seizures. It was a hard time. And when I read um, a Max Lucado book, he broke down Psalm 23. And it was probably one of the best things I'd ever read. Because even though you think you know what it means, it really helped to have somebody dive a little deeper into what each of, you know, the segments are. Um, so... You know, just the very first one. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You know, it sounds simple enough, but it's, it's really nice when you have something in a book form that is helping you uh, really understand. Um, and that's just a personal thing. And so this may not be somebody else's taste. That's why cross stitch is so awesome because we have stuff for everybody. Um, witchy stitcher goes to one end of the spectrum with my daughter, but I still love some of her Halloween stuff. Um, and then this is obviously one of your more, you know, a, a Christian stitch. And, and I would like to stitch this for my dad. Um, it's quite, I went with the Quaker. I felt like it was more manly. And I thought that it, it was just nice because it, I do like to stitch letters. It's something I really like. Uh, and it didn't look super feminine to me. So again, this one is By the Bay Needle Art. And it's Psalm 23 Quaker style. And if you want, I could take it out. Um, I've never done a by the bay needle art. Um, it looks like the pattern is really very clear. You get, this is a picture. Oh, you can see that. And like, I could even change that if, if I didn't want to make a flower for my dad. I mean, it's easy enough to change this, but um, this was the purpose is, is just eventually I would like to, I'd like to stitch this for my dad and maybe for Christmas or if I miss Christmas, his birthday is in April. Um, so that's why I got that one. And I have a project bag for it, so that's cool. Um, okay, I 
Last Sunday, for the first time, I got together with a high school friend. Her name is Sarah, and um, she is she lives in Florida. We've known it. We've been on Facebook, and we keep talking about getting together, and we haven't. And we she finally drove up to me. So haven't seen her since graduated. So I mean, that's I graduated in '85. That'll tell you how long. Um, but we actually sat right here, um, and just stitched. Uh, last Sunday afternoon and um, it was a really it was really fun it was such a joy to see her she does a lot of mirrors uh, she shared all her pictures of her mirrors so yes I'm gonna use her as a resource um, when I need to um, and uh, it's just nice to to, to feel like um, it's really nice to get together with with you know one when you've you've gone to high school with somebody and we're you know and, and two it's it's, I don't do that very often and I think people need to. So it was just nice. Randy was um, really, really great. And he took Philip and they went and did, you know, a few hours of running around and then they came back and they were part of it too. But anyway, so um, that was fun. Now, this tomorrow, Sunday, cause I'm sorry, I should have shared the date um, because this is Saturday. Tomorrow, let's see, what is the date tomorrow? I'm sorry. July 18th, Sunday, tomorrow. I have Stitchy Friends coming up and I'm really excited. So I will share with you in the next floss tube, I put together little um, little gift bags and I reached out to the girls at Twin Peak Primitives and I told them that I would be really interested because I did a, a little theme. Uh, so I was really interested in one of their patterns and it is Save the Bees. Now, I think I mentioned last time that I would like, or in the home tour, that I am trying to make my porch about honey and bees and some of my other stuff from the farm that maybe isn't quite as colonial in the living room. So my Hoosier cabinet is out on the lanai and maybe one day I'll, I will, when I'm finished out there, I'll do a tour out there. But I'm trying to do bees and honey and just more floral. Um, so this is what I got for the girls tomorrow. And if they see this, that's okay. I got it because I liked the fact that there were four blocks and I like the fact that if they, um, everybody, like we said, has different tastes. If they only want, if one just wanted to stitch flowers, they could, and I thought we could stitch something together. If they want to stitch the whole thing, they can obviously. Um, but I know I would love this out on my porch. I thought it would be great even if somebody wanted to stitch just this uh, bee scape, bee scape. Anyways, I thought this would be fun. Um, even if you made a scissor fob out of it, stitched up something small. So I really like this. I am so happy to gift it to my friends tomorrow. Uh, one of the girls, that is her thing. She collects bees. Um, um, so. I'm, I'm excited and I put to, uh, together some other goodies so I can share that with you uh, next time. But I love this. I think that it would be fun for others to stitch. I, I don't think it's terribly big, but I can tell you it is 203 by 203. So exactly square, not super small, but not huge either. Um, so I'm, like I said, I'm excited about that. This is called Save the Bees from the twins, Twin Peak Primitives, and um, maybe you might wanna stitch that too. It's something nice and, and springy. Um, all right, I, while we're talking about Twin Peak Primitives, the giveaway for the snowman, um, the snowman kit, I, I never got a reply from the, from the viewer and you know, I, I've waited a good while so I think the best thing I can do is I have another one, another giveaway for the one that they just released and I'll share that in just two seconds. Um, so I think the best thing I can do is I'm going to announce the winner, both of them next, uh, next week when I do my next floss tube. So what I'll do is I will use all the names from the other ones and I will reselect because everybody has already followed the rules there. So I will, the the next giveaway is their most recent kit 
limited exclusive kit that they put out at TPP Exclusives. So this week, um, one, we have to all kind of follow the, the rules for, for a giveaway, which means you have to be 18 because I need your address. Um, it's very, very easy. Uh, I would say that the, the word that I would want you to use in your comments, you have to like and you have to subscribe to my channel. And I would say use the word generations. So that's plural, generations. Um, this one was stitched for me by my daughter, Heather. Uh, she's my oldest. And this was my Mother's Day gift. So I think everybody saw it. And this was released as a limited kit uh, by the twins this week. So they graciously sent me a kit that I am able to, um, well, actually they send me one. Mm -hmm. And then when, you, when, the, when the winner is announced and I have your name, then um, and we actually just mail it straight from the Twin Peak Primitives exclusives straight to you. So it makes it really, really easy. And I think it's really nice. So let me show you, let's make sure you can see it up close. And what you're going to get, one second here. Is this, okay? So you get your project bag. It has the sweetest little thing here, which I love. A little teacup, coffee cup, and saucer. Diane does a really nice job. She does their um, Twin Peak, prim the TPP exclusive. She does their shop for them over here in the States. And what it includes is the winner will get a pattern, project bag, a thread keep, 14 count Ada by X Jude Design, your DMC threads, a needle minder, by Mad for Minders and the Zipper Pull by Clover Cat's Beatery. And she always sends you some goodies, which she does. Uh, so this is how it comes. And it comes really, really nicely done. You get all your DMC. And this time there's a little, there's an actual in here, and we'll open up, it's a like a thread drop. So, and it's a feather. I mean, how cute is that? That's really sweet. And this is the fabric, which I will say, I, even if you don't use Ada, I will tell you this color, if you're ever looking in uh, by, this is x Design, and it is so pretty. Let's see if I can, if I double it up there. It's really, really pretty. Now, Heather had uh, hand-dyed mine. So this is slightly different. This is more of a, hmm. You can see a little modeling, but not much. But it's almost like a light chocolate milk. There, that's pretty true. It's really pretty. It's a little taupe, but it's, um, it's just got, right there like you can see just little modeling so not a lot which is nice because this is not a big piece um, and then you've got your your mad for minders which she's she's working on a frame I love that so the the magic word in the comments is generations and I will go ahead and I will reveal both winner next weekend um, things are really starting to get normal, so I think I can, um, especially because I think Lincoln will be coming to uh, an end, so I'll have some good stuff to share with you. Um, okay. We just like to make sure that these these giveaways on FlossTube go to actual stitchers, so it's it's important um, that we kind of follow the, 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 the rules when we go through that, but I'm excited. I'm excited for somebody to win that kit. I'm excited for somebody to finally get the snowman kit uh, and we'll we'll get it done. But I, I am just gonna stick with the list from the comments of the original post of that so that it goes to somebody that actually um, commented the original time. Um, so anyways, okay, moving on. I don't have a lot of 
R&R &R Designs fabric. And like I said, I was working more on fabric than actual patterns. So I was able to get off of eBay a little piece, well, it's not too cute little, of Brenda's Brew. And that's very true. And I, I know a lot of people love this color. And I also know that Brenda Gervais uses Brenda's Brew in a lot of stuff. Um, so a lot of her patterns. So I was excited to finally have a piece of that um, because I do have quite a bit of Brenda's patterns. I just don't often, haven't gotten too, too many of them yet. Okay. And then I had a fun find in um, on eBay again. And I mean, I'm talking just, just a couple of dollars. It was the, let's see here, the Leisure Arts Holidays Remembered book. Okay. I'm pretty sure I might've had this at one time. I, I can't remember. I had one of them, but I, I saw this. And even though I may not do all that outlining, the patterns are in color. And I was thinking that maybe my oval pieces or something, the those frames that I got, um, I don't know, maybe I could put it on my, my I in my home tour, you will see an all year tree. And I am working on getting it to being more primitives, uh, ornaments and things like that, but things that I stitch. So anyways, and there's a couple, there's a couple other patterns in here, but I, I mean, literally, I think it came to my door for like four bucks. Um, so, all right. I say we move on to, I did do a little work since we were together last on flea market flowers. And I know a lot of people have seen this. Um, this is Flea Market Flowers, if you've never seen it before. This is designed by Lori Holt, and the pattern is put out by It's So Emma. This is another one, and why I love, uh, this is going to go out on, on the, the porch, I think. You know, I never commit something to somewhere until it's all done. But um, I did make some progress with this one, as well as here, oopsie. Oh, I have one stitch in there. I don't know, I was trying to pick it out. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I am here. I kind of think I might see if I can use another one of those buttons in here, I don't know. It's, it's fun, this is on 28 count ale. And I would say that's about the right color. Uh, I know that I, um, a couple people have, have reached out and said they're using the same color or something very similar. Uh, I like it. I, I really like it. I like it on, I've seen it on pink uh, and, and purple, I think. Uh, I mean, there, it's just really, there's not a lot that this doesn't look pretty on. The colors are really fun. I will say sometimes I get a little bored with stitching petals but that doesn't mean that it's not something that I would continue stitching because it's nice. It just gives me a break that I don't have to think too much. Um, so that is my progress on flea market flowers. And Lori Holt, sorry, Lori, um, loves bees too. And I know we tried to plan um, a stitch along of a sampler in um, next year, early 2022. So we all, everybody's kind of in the middle of a bunch of projects. So. I think it'll be fun. All right. I also was able to do a little progress on for my, the lady of the flag. I'm not starting her until I'm done with all my models. It'll kind of be my reward. I am not rushing, I'm just enjoying. Um, so this is my first Marabilia. And I do have the linen and I did get all of the DMC now instead of just half. And then, let me shake this out. Um, there we go. It's a lot, I think it's 35 colors. But all DMC. I'm all ready to go on floss top drops. And these were, again, just Etsy. Um, I, I'm sorry, I think I promised somebody that I would show them how to how to do this. Um, you'll notice I leave my, I leave this pr 
pretty loose. I have learned from experience that when I do put mine on the drop, my thread, the floss, I do not pull the shank tight. I leave it loose so that when I sit there and pull it out with my needle, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not being harsh on the tag or the drop. So, and I can replace them if I need to anytime. So anyways, I am good to go on that step. The next will be to add the Krynik, which um, I'm excited to have, but I know it's not, I know for a lot of people, it's not their, their funnest thing to work with. Um, okay, I think we are down to the very last thing. And, oh no, 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 no. One more. Um, like I said, I'm starting to work on uh, Christmas. And my daughter, Olivia, was asking for a new Afghan. Um, and so since life is kind of, I still have all my farm friends. That is really something that's just inside of me that all my friends on Instagram, I didn't, I didn't move away from, from any of that. And many, many, many of my farm friends on Instagram also have, um, are just so talented. Uh, a lot of them take their wool and, and obviously um, fibers are created uh, from their sheep and it's just such a fun process to always watch. So I, I know over time that um, these are some resources that I will go to and I did. So one of my really, really good friends, Janet, I approached her on dyeing me some yarn. Um, so, and I, and I knew it would be I've seen hers. It, there's a lot of people that, that make just so many beautiful products on, on Instagram and then have their Etsy stores. So I told Janet what I was looking for and she uses basically, I believe most things that are just uh, natural elements of nature to do her dyeing, which I don't probably have all the proper words, but she is from I wanted to get her card out for you. She goes by um, Free Range Yarn and it's homegrown wool from our sheep and our goats. And I'm sorry, I had her little card. She's from Timber Creek Farms. Here it is. I'm just gonna show you this. Timber Creek Farms, free range yarn. That's how you will find her on Instagram. And her name is Janet. And I asked for three colors. Now I'm just gonna tell you right now, I do not, I am not, I can crochet. I can crochet uh, well, but I don't crochet, um, I don't know a lot of patterns. Um, so, my mom was an amazing knitter and I really could never get that down, but I love to crochet. I've done a temperature blanket and things. Um, I love granny squares. I really kind of just love the double crochet. So I don't stress myself out, but I knew that quality yarn is, um, is what makes it such an enjoyable um, project. So this is what she dyed. Um, my daughter wanted like a neutral and a, like a country green and this, this beautiful teal, oh my gosh. So I think they're gonna look really pretty together. They are really gorgeous by themselves. This is all, all like a, let me see if I can get it. A, it's like a gold. Um, I mean, I, I love this. This is like a primitive gold. It could go anywhere in my house. Um, this is so pretty by itself. I just, I mean, this blue is, I kind of feel like I got the, a whole primitive batch of stuff here. And this green is like a moss green, but she used worsted weight. And I know it's gonna be so easy to work with. So thank you, Janet. It's gonna be really special for my daughter. And um, I'm, I'm just really excited to get started now, but I didn't wanna get started until I actually showed it to you. And then I'll start showing you some progress. Okay, I think the last thing is, is I can show you all the stitching I've been doing on one thing. <laughs> Uh, I gotta tell you, last weekend, 
um, went to an antique store and we just strolled around. We went to breakfast with my dad. I think this was um, the Sunday before that because last uh, Sunday Sarah was here. So it was before that and we went uh, to breakfast and then we went to uh, stroll around into the Wildwood Antique Mall and I came across an antique picture of Lincoln and his family and it was um, just incredible. Almost kind of, um, I'm a sappy person, no, no denying it, but it kind of brought me to tears. I mean, I just feel like this is so special and I don't understand why I'm so touched by Lincoln and his family, but I do feel that way. And when I saw it, um, I shared it with a few friends on uh, Instagram and um, I just, my husband was very sweet and said, uh, as, a, as opposed to someone buying it, what if we just did an early birthday present? And so I said, yes, yes, yes. So anyways, I will share a picture of it. I, I would love to have them side to side. And then I will share with you um, the, the antique picture that I got. So anyways, this is where I'm at on the Lincoln sampler. Let's see if I can get you up here. Now I have, I have finished the bottom filling in that full coverage section with the alphabet I have finished let me fold it in half and show you Mary I have finished Mary completely unless I add beads I have finished all the way over here and the border all the way up the side where Lincoln is and he's all done nice right beautiful beautiful pattern by by the twin peaks um, and i just last night started stitching uh, lincoln's law book and up here you'll see this says honest abe that's what's coming in here and then down here will be another little surprise motif that i won't give away yet but i was able to add one country and one nation um, all I have to do is add a little white inside each one of these little sections is a little white uh, it matches right there One minute. It, it matches this so I just got, it's like a ball it's like a looks like a snowball but anyway so each of that will go up there um, the family the sons Lincoln and Mary had four sons uh, if you start with oldest, this is Robert Todd. And, and then if you go through the middle two um, are the two that passed away, um, not young, like the one was young, he was three, then the other one was 17. The, this is Tad and Lincoln called him Tadpole. Um, I guess he was a little squirmy. Um, if you read his stories, they're kind of funny. Uh, he just didn't sit still too much. And um, anyways, it's, <laughs> I think it's just that he was so very personal, uh, personable, I should say. Um, I love that sometimes I think I know what Nerdan was thinking when she designed the pattern. We, we talk about it, uh, but you know, you gotta understand she's in, she's, she's in a completely different country. So it is not like we are face-to-face -face designing something to, together. When we collaborate, there's a whole lot of trust that goes in place. And, um, you know, I think I know her little things that, that are important, that she knows are important to me and that she's learned from history. And I love that this sampler focuses on the home and the family first, his wife and his kids, right dead center. And I, I think that that would be how Lincoln was. I think that he did, he had his goals and he was focused, but I also know from um, just the things that I've read or learned that it was important for him to have family time every single night. Um, I believe that he read to the boys every single night. I noticed that up in the law book, I was thinking to myself, there's a very popular picture of him reading to Tad. 
um, and he supposedly read the Bible every night to him. You could easily put a cross on this and it could represent a Bible if you wanted to. Um, so, you know, I, I just, I think that she's done such a great job at depicting who Lincoln and Mary um, were. And I think that it was just, it's, to me, it just, uh, I think it just symbolizes what, what Lincoln would, would have wanted to take dead center on the piece and that would have been his home. This is the first home he ever owned. Um, so I, th I just think it plays a huge, a significant role. So you know where I've got to work, right here. I've got a matching motif that'll go right here. And then tomorrow, my day will be spent working on the border over on Mary's side and bringing it around. So my goal is, is this is all I work on and I stitch about four hours every night. Uh, once Philip goes to bed, I stitch from about eight to midnight every single night. Um, so, and sometimes, you know, I get to start a little bit earlier, but either way, I am hoping that this is off to the framers and that this will be the last time that um, you see it. Um, I think the next time you see it, it, you know, it'll be at Expo. So, you know, there's a lot of things in this that this is all DMC except for her dress, which, which is Weeks Gold. Um, and the, the, you know, you could change the reds out. There's a lot you could do with this. This is DMC. I know now if I were to stitch him again, this guy, which I would not, um, but if I ever did, this would be great in, in molasses. This would be great in Weeks Molasses. Uh, if you just wanted to give it an, an old older look with a little bit, it would be gorgeous in uh, the Weeks Molasses that they have. Um, you could do Whiskey. Uh, I think it's uh, Weeks Whiskey would be fantastic for uh, if you wanted to change out the border. Uh, any, anyways, it, there's a lot that you could do to change, but it is beautiful with the DMC floss as well. So anyways, wish me luck. Um, I'm going for a finish this week and I hope it's off to the framers. And I'm excited to stitch tomorrow with uh, my friends and I will share with you that event next time we're together. Um, I'm excited for you guys to get this limited edition kit, Stitching Generations Together. Don't forget to use the word generations. Um, I love reading your comments. I love that you share so many personal things with me. Um, that they're, they're friendships in the making and um, I, I love that part. Um, the next piece after that, I will stitch monogamously on the witch uh, Halloween piece I've shared with you before and that should go pretty fast. Um, anyways, I hope you're well. I hope you're stitching, and um, don't forget to floss. Love you guys. Bye.